This is Time Out Corner. Welcome to 90 Degrees A Geek. We are here on Talk Gaming, and I actually want to talk about Wolfenstein. That game is really good. I like it. I'm enjoying it. I bought it last week. I actually just started playing it like a few days ago, or not too long ago. I do that sometimes. I'll buy a game, and I'm driving right now, so if if it's a little loud, that's why. But sometimes I do that. I'll buy a game. And I won't play it for, I won't play it right away sometimes. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Sometimes it just depends on if I'm busy or if I got something else going on. But I usually just buy it just so I don't have to worry about buying it when I want to feel like playing it. But if it's, a game, if it's a game I know I really want to play when it get to, you know, even if it's a, if it's a brand new game, but I know I want to play, I'll just buy it sometimes. It, 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 it won't always be when it first comes out. Sometimes I'll just buy it later. But, but when I finally want to get that feeling I want to play it soon, I'll probably buy it. It doesn't mean I'll play it right away, but you know I know I'll get to it eventually. Like case in point, I, I bought Monster Hunter on a Switch. Actually, before Labor uh, Day weekend, well, a few weeks ago, I ain't haven't even opened it up yet, you know. So, but that's the main reason for that is because I know once I start playing that, I'm going to be like in it, in it. I'm going to be in it. But the reason why I did get it though is because I knew I was traveling a little bit, not traveling, but you know. Going on, vacation, going on like a little trip, road trip, camping and stuff, and things of that nature. I figure if I do want to play it, I want to have it available. So again, sometimes I download stuff I know I want to play, just so when I want to play it, I can play it. You know, I don't have to worry about not having it and having to wait till I go to a store, or if, I, if you know, or wait till I get internet access. To, if I'm not at a place that has internet, then I'm not gonna be able to play it, right? So, but anyways, so that's why sometimes I buy stuff just so I know I can have it when I want to play it. I can play it. You know, I don't have to wait to buy it. You know, but anyway, so this Wolfenstein, I'm liking it. It's very good visuals. I like it a lot. I'm enjoying the visuals of the game. Nice. You know, the graphics are good. Really nice. You know, it's really good. I like it. I like it a lot. I like this game a lot. But the visuals aren't the only reason why I like it, you know. But because, case in point, Doom had very good visuals as well. Very good visuals, graphics. I mean, good. It was good, you know. But for some reason, I, I just wasn't feeling Doom. I like the story, the, you know, the, 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 like, the action of the game was good. I liked that. The, the combat was good, you know. I liked it. The only thing, I, I didn't like the speed of the game. I don't know. That's the only thing that just kept me from not liking to play the game. I know Doom is a fast game. I played previous Dooms and I liked them. Something about this one, I just, I don't know. I wasn't feeling the, I couldn't get, I really liked the game too. I still have it. I might I eventually go back to it. Cause I was gonna, I was gonna turn it back in and get a different game, but I figured, you know what? I'll give it a little bit more chance since they got motion controls. I think in there now, but I haven't really played it since then. But I'm like, I'll give it another chance. I'm not sure, but I wasn't. I don't know. The, the controls were. It wasn't even the controls because the controls are no good. Like the, the the control layout and all that stuff was good. It's just I don't know what it was. Something about that speed in this particular game. Cause I played fast game first person shooters before, and I, like previous Doom, and it, I had no problem with those, you know. But this one, I don't know. It's something weird about this one. To me, to where I just didn't like because I haven't played, I've only played like once or twice and I just didn't really, couldn't get into it, into it like that. I don't know, but this Wolfenstein, I'm really liking a lot. It's really good. It's, uh, I like the, the AI is good. The AI is really good in this game. The enemies know when to back off when you got a weapon that's a beast, you know, shooting at them. You know, they, they don't instantly find you just because they heard you make a noise or just because one of the officers radios in for backup. They don't automatically know where you're at, you know. And that's that's good. That's good. Uh, it's just a good game in general, you know. I like I like this game a lot. I like the shadow effect of the game, like depending on where the lighting is at in this game, and depending on obviously where objects are at, like walls and structures and things of that nature, and depending on the position you're standing at, your shadow will will, will properly be in the right spot. And that's really nice. And this is very nice, depending on how tall the room is, how short, uh, how low the ceiling is, or how narrow it's getting. Like your shadow will properly, you know, reflect off of other things, right? Or you know, beyond where it's supposed to be at, pretty much. I like I like this game for that. It's really nice shadowing. I like the fact that your hand, whatever hand your weapon your weapon is in, when you're moving around, say you get too close to a wall, or you're like walking around like some item or whatever he'll like automatically switch the weapon in the other hand depending on what side of the wall or object is close to or he'll like automatically put the weapon down or up depending on you know your angle or like that so you so your view 
won't fully be distracted or so you, it's just more lifelike. Like if you're walking straight into a wall, you're not going to keep the weapon out. You're going to put it down so you won't, so the weapon won't, you know, be smushed into the wall, right? So you're going to put it down out the way. So I like that. That it does that automatically. It's pretty cool. I like that. I like the, the controls are good. I mean, I like the controls are really good. No problem with that. I like all this. These, I like all of this. Um, I like it. I'm liking this game a lot, people. I'm really liking it. I actually do like the, um, I like how they got this game playing out. Like the storyline and all that is really good. I like it. It's really nice. I um, haven't had no issues with it as far as, you know, um, not being able to know what to do. I know what all, pretty much all my missions are. It's easy to find out. Just push the, you know, down on a quote unquote D pad, you know. <laughs> um, it's a good game. It's just, it's just entertaining to me. I like it. I don't always play first person shooters, but. I'll play them every once in a while. I don't hate first person shooters. It's just that I'm not always on them. But I like I do like them every once in a while. So I like this one. It's really good. I like it. Uh, I like the dialogue, you know, they have. I like when you walk up to the Germans. Like the enemies are talking in German. They'll be, you know, doing whatever. It's just a good game, you know, to me. But, you know, it's a good game. It's a good, good game. Now, with that being the case, I've, I've been putting hours in it. Not as much as I put in Fallout vault or whatever it's called the fallout game on switch i ain't been putting as much time in it as that game that fallout game had me sucked into it i was in that game like i bought that game when i bought it i played it for like two days and at, within like two three days i had like a whole bunch of hours in that game already i was like gosh dang i ain't gonna play this game this much it was sucking my life away and i know that's why i didn't want to play monster hunter yet even though i got it so i know once i play that it's gonna be even worse so i'm just like, let me calm now i, I got lots of going on besides gaming i can't just focus all this on gaming right but anyways but Wolfenstein is really good you know I'm liking it it's uh I've been playing it if not every day pretty much every day since I started playing it a few days ago or a couple of days or maybe over the weekend I don't when I, I don't remember exactly when I started playing it but you know but anyways it's good now one thing I don't like about this game or not don't like but a few issues I can say for me a few issues I don't know if anybody else is having these issues I haven't even looked I haven't even looked at any real ratings or, or like reviews of this game. I looked at like one when I, right before I bought it last week. I looked at one YouTube video just to verify, you know, that it was. I guess you could say. I don't know. I just just see how the gameplay was. Like you said, just real quick. I looked at a few seconds of that. And I was like, okay, that's all I can see. I didn't want to see no reviews, no, no comments about it, nothing like that. Too much about it. So I didn't really read too much into it about it. I, just want, I knew I wanted to buy the game, so I bought it. But anyways, one thing I'm not. At least I'm having issues with, with this game is that sometimes, I was weird, I don't know. I'll get stuck. Not like stuck, stuck to where you have to stop the game, restart it, you know, load your last uh, checkpoint, whatever, or last save, or you have to like stop the game, take the game out, nothing like that, nothing crazy like that, right? It's just sometimes, I'll, there's like, sometimes there are part, parts on like a stage to where it seems like I can be able, I should be able to like walk through this little space to get to the other side right or i should be able to walk through this little barrier because it's like a big way gaping hole in it and and you can see the other side and you can go to the other side if you just walk like 10 five seconds around to get there but it looks like i should be able to walk through right here because it's like a three foot you know at least two and a half three feet wide open right i should be able to fit through this part but no you try to fit through it you don't have to duck because it's, it's it's enough overhead for you to walk through standing up or sometimes if there's enough space if you duck, you should be able to walk through it. But you can't walk through it. And when you try, it's like you sort of walk through it or you start to walk through it, but then you, you can't go any further. So like, dang, I can't go through it. What the hell? So yeah, I try to back out, but then I'm stuck. Like, what the heck? So I have to wiggle my joystick like a little bit to get out. That happens a few times and I don't like that, but it doesn't happen a lot, but it's happened, you know, it's happened a few times, you know. So that's a little thing I'm grappy about. Or sometimes where I feel like I should be able to jump over something but I can't, and it's like, why can't I jump over this? I'm allowed to go to the other side, and this barrier is not that big. It's like literally, like I've jumped over, I've jumped on top of things that are higher than this. So why can't I jump over this? You know, so some, you know, so that's. But I guess that ties in with the not being able to go certain, certain routes. You know, so it's a little. Sometimes it pisses me off. Like, Gosh dang it! So it only have it only happens like a few times, but it still has happened. And I'm like, ah, like it happened one time when I was like in a shootout, and I'm like trying to like duck for cover in this one spot i'm thinking i can go there but i can't i can't fit in this little spot it wasn't even that little it was like decent size but i can't go into it I'm like what the heck it's 
big enough space when you see it inside her like i should be able to go in there but it's not letting me go in there like i'm getting stuck right here and i had to like i got sort of stuck i had to like wiggle my way out so but yeah so and when i mean wiggle my way out i mean like i'm not like all the way in the place i'm just like my foot's like my foot's through the door but i can't go any further so I'm, okay let me just turn around like my it's only my foot in the door but now i'm stuck like what the heck so i have to like wiggle 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 get out you know but yeah so that's happened a few times and and the jumping sucks now if you run fast and jump that's good but even sometimes when you're supposed to jump up on a ledger it's like you have to do it like once or twice to get up there or three times i'm like ah you know that's a little gripe it's not no real issues just like a few grabs i ran into but i like the game really good game fun game besides those two or three times i've gotten stuck or about four or five times actually like i said it's not like a crazy stuck it's just like i have to jiggle my joystick you know the joy cons like a few few times like two two seconds sometimes just to get out of it i remember one time it was i was in this blown up building and i had jumped down a ledge just like a little ramp well the building like had like a ramp it was blown up so like i guess the upper floor had collapsed on the bottom floor so it made like a little ramp and like to the side of it like to the wall it was like a part that was blown up but then enemy enemy spotted me and he, and he alerted the officer, so the officer started uh, calling in for more soldiers. I'm like, gosh, dang, I need some cover. So I'm thinking like, oh, this is cubby hole right here. Let me let me duck in this cover. So it's like a stair set. It's like a stair that was blowing up. And so I'm thinking oh, I can go underneath the stair because there's a lot of space there, you know. And I should have a little bit of cover. I try to go in there. I get in there sort of with no problem, you know. But the problem was trying to get out. I was stuck. And I was stuck in here for like. A few minutes like literally i thought i was gonna get killed but i didn't luckily because they couldn't find me <laughs> you know so that was lucky but yeah i was trying to get out but i couldn't get out because i got stuck like what the heck so that was like that was like the longest I ever got stuck that was like a minute two minutes you know trying to get out that bad boy i thought i, was, I thought i was gonna ha actually have to stop the game but no but that's the only time i was like fully stuck my whole body was in there it took me a while to get out but usually it's only like i'm not even in it but i can't move out because like my foot's like stuck, like weirdly. I don't know. But anyways, that's the gripe that I got about about that. I don't know if anybody else have had that issue. I have. Maybe I'm just trying to go in a place I know they shouldn't be going. But literally, it's like sometimes it's like wide open space. I'm just like literally trying to see what's behind this counter and like get stuck. Like what the heck? But anyways, the jump in is not the best. <laughs> but I guess it's not meant to be jumping right. But I'm a jumper in game, so I like to jump around. I like to try to jump on top of things. But he doesn't have a high jump. That's cool. But it's just when you try to jump on top of like ledges or like a, a platform to like go to like another level. Sometimes like it's more harder than it should be. It should be easy jump over, right? But anyways, but it's cool. But it's it's more lifelike though that way. I guess you could say. You know, he does have a heavy suit on too. You know, so that that plays a part in that. I bet you, I guess you could say. But overall, man, this game is. I like how it started out. I like how I really like how it started out. I like how it started out with the wheelchair and all that stuff that was really nice i liked it i actually liked that part of it um i actually didn't know they had motion controls enabled on this game until after actually last night you know i was playing it and i was decided to try to change some controls up not controls i wanted to change the uh sensitivity up on the you know the turning and stuff or or minute or adjust the sensitivity and i had got to the part where i was like motion I was like, what? Oh, shoot, I know we have motion controls on here. I was like, dang, you know? So then I turned it on, like, started using that, too. Okay, made even better. <laughs> so that was good. But the game, though, people, is a good game. I like it. Wolfenstein's good. They did good on this. And I like those star cards. The star cards are the best. I guess those are people who are the uh, developers of the game. You know, the publishers are probably the developers. So there's, like, a whole bunch of star cards, like, throughout the game so far. I'm only, like, I'm only like 8% through the game or 9%. So I still got a long ways to go. But there's like a lot of star cards, like, you know, throughout the game. It's like pictures of, I'm guessing, developers, like in like a sort of artistic uh, overlay of, on the pictures. It's pretty crazy. That's cool. But it's a good game. You know, they got the side stories you can read by picking up certain, like, newspapers or people's journals or. You know, you can read those things, see what's going on, extra stuff, just exercise stories that you can read, you know, get some info on. 
Um, but it's a good game, though, people. It's a good game. I like it. Wolfstein got some step of approval from your boy, talking about corner. Be playing that game. I'm going to get on Monster Hunter soon sometime, and hopefully, eventually, I'll start my talk at workout series. I'll be uploading the videos I do have made and continuing that series up. Again, I'm not going to be forcing stuff if I don't have time to do it. If I don't, and y'all know, I don't I don't be doing stuff all the time anyways. I'll be, I'll be taking months break, right? Weeks breaks, months breaks. The website is all but done. I mean, like, not coming out forever. That's what it seems like. Even though it's already finished, but, you know, whatever. I guess I'm just like, I don't know what's up with me, people. I just be BSing, right? But anyways, <laughs> but no, the, uh, it's all coming together, people. It's all coming together. Better late than never, right? But anyways, um, Wolfenstein's a good game. I like it a lot. I'm just going to shut up about everything else I'm supposed to be doing, including the Talk Out Workout series and the website. It's all irrelevant right now, people. It's all irrelevant until it happens, right? It's all irrelevant. So I'm not going to talk about it until it happens. But anyways, Wolfenstein's a good game. I like it. Entertaining. Keeps me on my toes. You know. Keep... Um, I do like how the officers, how they did it in this game to where the officers, like sometimes there's like officers and if the enemy spots you and he yells out before you kill him or whatever, or he starts shooting you before you kill him, and you have to kill him like silent to him about here's it, you know, either by, you know, with your axe or whatever, or kill him with the, uh, Silencer, silencer. Once you upgrade your weapon, it has a silencer on it. But, but anyways, if you get too close, or if an officer spots you, he'll automatically be like, "Hey, call him for backup." But if like an enemy, a, a normal soldier spots you, or like one of those Andrew, uh you way I don't call them flying robots, whatever you want to call them, and one of those spots you, whatever, or anything else spots you, if they start shooting at you. And there's an officer within range. He'll call in for backup. Then it'll be a hellstorm, right? Or if they start shooting at you, then he'll call in for backup. Then it'll be a hellstorm. They'll all zone in on where you're at. But then you can run and go hide, and they won't know where you're at. If, if nobody sees you hide, they won't know where you're at. And then you, then you can start picking them apart. But um, but it's, I like I like that aspect how you, the officers call for backup. But if as long but if you kill the officer. Even while it's calling for backup, if you kill them, backup will stop coming, and you just gotta kill the rest of the enemies that are currently there. Or if you kill them before they even spot you, the officer, he won't call for it. You know, then you can call. You can you can start all the ruckus you want. Ain't no backup coming. Just the people that's currently on the stage. That's gonna be it. Ain't gonna be any extra soldiers coming. So I like that. You you can stop extra backup from coming, or not give two craps and just going guns and blazing like they say, and just just go at it. Whatever. You don't care who comes. You just going guns and blazing. You know, either way you want to do it. You strategize, I guess you could say. Um, sometimes there's two officers. I've never seen three. I've only seen the max at two. So, you know. And sure, it tells you where the direction they're at. So it'll tell you how far away they are. And it'll tell you, like, sort of the, di the general direction that they're at. And from there on, you just got to figure out where they're at if you want to start getting close to them to try to kill the officer. So that's cool. And But the game, in overall, it's a good game. It's a fun game to play. I enjoy it. I'm enjoying it currently. Um, I don't know if it has online. I'm pretty sure it does. Like I said, I haven't really checked too much about this game. I knew I wanted it, but I haven't really read too much about it. And I guess no, no big deal. If I want a game, I want to get. I'm going to get it regardless. If people say it sucks or not, or if it's good or whatever features it does or doesn't have. Um, now, if it's a game, I know that the developers ripping us off on. I'm not going to be too interested in it then. But I haven't heard too much about it on in that sense, so that's why I wasn't worried about that. You know, as far as the developers trying to rip people off, you know, keep my content out or paint, you know, extra DLC that should be in the game already, you know. So I didn't see anything about that. Um, and I didn't hear nothing about the game being broke either, so that was definitely a big plus, you know. And it doesn't seem too much things are broke. You know, I, yeah, I said I get stuck every once in a while, but a lot of those places I try to go, I don't have to try to go in, but it's like, I should be able to, so why the heck can I not, you know. It's more of that than I'm actually getting stuck in places that's like just me walking down the road or walking down in a building, you know, so that's good. And I like the enemies. Like I said, the AI is good, you know, not stupid AI, good AI. I like the, I like the, I like how you don't have to shoot the enemies a whole bunch of times to kill them. They're good. A lot of games are like that, you know, so that's cool. I mean, a lot of games are like, so you don't have to do a lot of shots just to kill them or whatever. I like that. That's cool. 
I like the, so far I like how the I like the enemy uh, diversity I guess you could say I like you got the officers you got the soldiers you got some of the more I guess you say elite soldiers you have the the the, the, the soldiers that are in the extra armor then you have like the I can see mechanical soldiers who are big robots and you have like the gigantic super robot gig mechanical soldier whatever and they have different weapons I like that it's pretty cool you slowly pick up weapons on the way different type of weapons slowly at a slow rate but they got upgrades you can do to them so that's cool you can upgrade the weapons and stuff like that so that's cool I like that so I mean they got some good parts of the game and you got some you know and I guess your home base is the submarine and you can walk around the submarine they got a range on the submarine you know you can talk to people so far I've only had one side mission on the submarine I had to go feed the pig find food to feed the pig I did that so that was cool so it's not too crazy in that sense not too many side missions but it's not that type of a game so I'm, I'm not hurting about not having side missions because it's not that it's not really that type of a game to be having side missions so it's no biggie I don't think I really care for side missions in this game anyways you know to where I have to you know go ask people for missions I'm glad it's not like that because it's not that type of a game it's not designed that way but they do have that on the submarine. The submarine can be like that because it's like a, it's not a world, but it's a submarine. It's pretty big, so you can walk around freely, you know, and do and just check stuff out. Now, they'd have an arcade on the submarine, so you can actually play the old. You can play Castlevania in the old like eight bit format, or whatever, sixteen bit. And it's uh, <laughs> it's interesting. The dude talking about the game while you're playing it. Oh, this looks like me. I'm like this is real life graphics. I can't tell the difference. I'm like. <laughs> Like, come on now, y'all know what they that's, that's funny. It's, it's, that's funny. Yeah, it's a good, good game. Good game. Anyway, it's time out corner. Talking about Wolfenstein, though. So, Wolfenstein and Fallout are the last two games I played heavily on my Switch. I'm still, you know, on Fallout, but I haven't played it that much in a few weeks. Um, I've been playing a lot of Pokemon Go recently. That's probably why I've stopped, I've stopped playing Fallout, because I've been playing Pokemon Go relentlessly over the last few weeks. I've been like going outside for like hours just walking around playing Pokemon Go. That's like a talk out workout series on its own. Let me take that out because I won't talk about it no more, but I'm not really talking about it coming out. I'm just saying. Uh, I've been playing Pokemon Go a lot. I haven't played a lot like the last week and a half, but before that, I was playing like every day, walking like a mug, like going crazy. I was walking like on my work from home days, I was walking, going out, walking hours, checking my email, you know, doing work too, but you know. And responding and doing what needs to be done for work. I was I was like going crazy on Pokemon Go. I would go out like around sometimes like around one o'clock, and I come back until like five just from playing Pokemon Go, walking around. <laughs> I was walking, boy, doing some walking. You know, that, Pokemon Go. I was, I was crazy on that. I haven't played too much since I came back from camping, because I was hoping when I went camping that they was gonna have. I have a good reception out there. Crazy enough. I was on a lake, on an island on a lake, you know, we camp, set up a campsite, and I was doing kayaking and stuff. Crazy enough, I had signal pretty much out there. It was weird. It was way out there, like, in the middle of nowhere, but I had good signal because there was, like, a cell tower, like, you could see it in the distance, but it was a cell tower, and I had really good signal, but there was no no Pokemon to catch out there. I was like, dang it. <laughs> so I haven't played too much since I've been back, but, yeah, so anyways, this time I corner, and uh, that's pretty much it for this Wolfenstein game. It's a good game. People check it out if you like it or if you're interested in it. It's a good game. I give you some approval. And I'm a, and that's pretty much it, people. Time to corner out.